Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Storytime with Jonathan the Juggler. It's an honor, it's a privilege to see you. Yes, indeed. Look at what I have today. Sammy the Classroom Guinea Pig. I know many of you, we're not exactly going to school right now. And we miss the human interaction. Sometimes we miss the pets at the school. Well, that's what this story is about, and I want you to stop and enjoy this. Now, pay close attention. Sammy the Classroom Guinea Pig. I have a favorite pet. Do you? I bet you do. Well, let's find out about Sammy the Classroom Guinea Pig. Sammy had his own little house. Inside was a soft blue sock. He liked to take naps on it. Ooh, everybody likes to take naps. The house had two doors, one to run in and one to run out. Sometimes he ran in the out door and out the indoor. Sometimes he slept on the roof. Huh. Sammy had a big cage to scamper about in. His food bowl was always filled with fresh guinea pig pellets. Sammy couldn't read a clock, but he always knew when Miss B, the teacher, would arrive. Every morning she brought him a treat, but today she was late. Weep! Sammy squeaked in greeting when she finally appeared in the doorway. Yes, yes, I hear you, Sammy, said Miss B. She was thinking of all the things she had to do. Sammy stood up on his hind legs, a difficult trick for a guinea pig, to take the carrot. Guinea pigs have individual tastes. Sammy liked many kinds of fruits and vegetables. Do you? I do. I certainly like to eat healthy. Like most guinea pigs, he loved freshly cut grass. In warm weather, the children would bring him a great bunch, sometimes with dandelions. Sammy heard the voices of the children in the hall. They burst into the classroom, all talking loudly. Weep, weep, cried Sammy happily adding to the din. Everybody settle down, cried Miss B. Soon all the students were sitting in their seats and watching Miss B write on the blackboard. Sammy watched too. But as the lesson began, Sammy felt something bothering him. Weep! He shrieked at the top of his lungs. He sprang onto the roof of the house. Weep, weep, he cried again. He leaped off and began to run, kicking wood shavings everywhere. Miss B stopped riding on the blackboard. Weep, weep, he squeaked, speeding in circles around the cage. What's the matter, Sammy, they cried. Miss B and her students gathered around the cage. Sammy stopped scurrying and let the teacher pick him up. What is the matter, she demanded. Weep, Sammy shrieked. Everyone loved Sammy and was worried. Is he sick, asked Robbie. When guinea pigs don't feel well, they usually sit with their fur puffed up, Miss B explained. His appetite is good. Is he afraid of something, asked Eric. If Sammy were frightened, his instincts would tell him to run into his house and be very quiet. So I don't think he's afraid, the teacher reasoned. Maybe something is hurting him, Miss B, said Lisa, worried. Well, let's take a look, responded the teacher. Sammy felt himself being lowered onto a table. Miss B lifted up each of his little ears and looked into them. He felt her fingers parting his fur to reveal his skin. He wished she would scratch him under the chin instead. He liked that. Hmm, what's the matter with Sammy? Sammy decided he didn't like them looking through his fur anymore. He began to make unhappy noises, small irritated squeals and squeaks. Will he bite? asked Tarisha nervously. Most guinea pigs don't bite, replied Miss B. They bite only if they are frightened. Ha! Huh, that's his exploring sound, said Miss B. He's enjoying himself. He liked to explore new things. Sammy made his way to Maria and touched her nose with his. That's how guinea pigs recognize and greet each other, explained Miss B. That means he's happy, she said. 
Sammy was glad when Maria picked him up and cuddled him. His sweater was soft and warm. Miss B, I think I know what's wrong with Sammy, Maria said. I think because today is Monday. What? Everyone exclaimed. Sammy was all alone this weekend, Maria explained. I think he's glad to see us. He wants our attention. That's all. Miss B said, Sammy, is that true? Is that what's the matter? Maria set Sammy down on the table and everyone gathered closer. Sammy felt someone scratch his chin. He scrunched up his nose in pleasure. Doot, deet, dot. He chuckled happily. All his friends were back. So it has a happy ending. Sammy got to see his friends again. And I think in good time, all of us will get to see our friends again too. Our family. Sometimes right now we have to communicate via a computer or something like that. But in good time, I think we're all going to be back together, enjoying the human interaction. And of course, the pets will enjoy it too because they like the people and the attention that is bestowed upon them. I have a special guest today, believe it or not. Uh-oh, maybe we can produce our own Sammy. Yes, indeed, friends. Jonathan the Juggler is all about making magic happen. So watch closely. I have a bottom to the pan, but I'm not going to stop there. That's right, friends. Watch closely. Ha-ha. You see? Empty. I take the top. I take the bottom. I combine the two. Yes, indeed, friends. Let's see what kind of magic has now transpired. Watch closely as I open and reveal <gasps> Sammy. Oh my goodness. Real live guinea pig. Everybody say hi, Sammy. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. I think Sammy is happy to see us just like your pets are when you see them. Friends, I wish you all nothing but the best this holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Festival of Lights. Whatever it is you celebrate, do it to the nines. Be as kind as you can to each other. And Jonathan the Juggler will see you in the new year in 2021. Till next time, on behalf of Sammy the Classroom Guinea Pig and yours truly, Jonathan the Juggler, I'll see you soon. Signing off.